Hello folks. So it's supposed to be clear around 11 p.m. tonight, so that's good enough for me. I think I'll roll out two rigs. Hopefully I can start even earlier than that, but we'll see. Ugh. Hang on a second here. I haven't put on enough weight just yet. I can still squeeze through here. I just gotta duck down. All right. Now, I have two rigs out right now, and they are far apart. I've got them strategically placed so they can start on their objects as soon as possible because I'm going to be starting with um, low objects to the east. And there's my Celestron Rasa and there is my Explorer Scientific ED127. And that's the one I'm making the video for tonight. So I will be right back. Hello folks. So tonight I think I'm going to finally finish my first project with my new ED127 here. And with the moon out, at 99% illumination, it's going to be a narrow band, but it's going to be the Dumbbell Nebula. It, it's a nice, bright target where I don't think a, a full moon is going to make much difference. But um, I have to admit, though, sometimes I like when the moon is full because it gives me an excuse to run narrow band to fight off that light pollution. I feel guilty sometimes when I'm doing narrow band when there's no moon out. So, um, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's probably not going to be a real test for this. Um, for this new telescope because even doublets can perform well with narrow bands. So, but anyway, uh, let, let's see what happens. Okay, so here are my two rigs. There's um, lots of bugs flying around I can see outside. But this video is for the one on the left. That's the ED-127. And right now it's barely pointing above the roof of my house. But uh, the Dumbbell Nebula will of course rise as the night goes on. And you can see uh, there's the full moon in the other frame here. Uh, definitely bright but very low and hopefully far enough away from my Dumbbell Nebula. So let's take a look at my data right now. Okay, so this is a single four minute exposure um, in HA and I'm, I'm capturing it at unity gain 13921. And this is one of those few times where the oxygen data is actually brighter than the HA data. Cause look at a single sub in in oxygen right now compared to HA. <laughs> the oxygen definitely has a bright core and I'm hoping it's not blown out but uh, hopefully I can peel away at it and get some detail in there. But I wanted to show you something here. This is frame 32 of my oxygen and look at frame 79. This is when I started getting hit with some haze. And you can see it's definitely, um, there's definitely less nebulosity compared to the other one. And I mean, what do you do here? Do you still keep this data, stack it and see how it looks? Does it hurt? Does it help? It's one of those things. Uh, I guess I'll just stack it with and without this data. I hate it when I lose data because of haze. and I, But I also hate throwing away data because it's, still looks strong enough to, to 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 include so I don't know I don't know uh, this is a really bright nebula and let me show you one more thing here in PixInsight so this is another thing I'm grappling with right now with my oxygen data now this is just over two hours of data and this is almost four hours of data on the left here and what I'm, I want to make sure I get this outer area of nebulosity. And I can see it here, but it looks a little stronger. With, this, is, this is two hours on, on the right and almost four hours on, on the left. And it's bugging me because I, know, I can tell it's definitely stronger on the left. Now I have another, you know, hour of data that I didn't factor into this. I didn't stack that yet. So I don't know, should I, how much time, how much, how many hours should I put into this to make sure this is strong? Or do I just stop at five hours and do whatever I can to process it? 
I don't know, but I want to definitely make sure it shows up in my final image. That's a tough one. I'll have to think about that. So, um, anyway, that's all I got, folks. I will see you later, and thanks for watching. folks so today I'm finally gonna finish tonight now over on the left here this is a little over two hours of oxygen data and on the did I say I can't remember did I say this is the right side I can't remember if I said right or left but this is the right side and this is the left. <laughs> it's late.